Welcome everyone to another episode of the Bryce Side. Today we're at Dairyland Farm Park, about 10 miles out from Newquay. So let's go check it out. And by the way, it's raining. I wonder if he's got a name. Maybe she. I wonder if she's got a name. I do like this little sort of like A-frame welcome board here. Got these little happy looking sheep. Very contented looking pigs. And he looks a bit frightened. Milk churns. Let's head in. Got some more cow statues here. I suppose it makes sense being Dairyland. That's quite cool. There's a little placard down here. Uh, Dairyland was opened by Mr. W.T. Hawkin Rouse, Chairman of Cornwall County Council, on the 2nd of August, 1975. Right, I'm just going to head back to the car a minute because I've only got my hoodie on, so I'm going to uh, get my raincoat. Thank you, it's like you predicted that. It's like this placard attached to this like uh, monument thing here, in memory and honour of the late Mr. Henry Williams, draper of this city, the founder and benefactor of this charity, AD 1631. Crikey. Okay, heading in. A little happy cow there, licking his lips. Mootilda? And they got a cow called Mootilda. That's why this is standing for Mootilda. Little shop there as you enter. We're just um, taking, uh, Shelley's just taking care of business over there. Uh, we have pre booked so that's good. Uh, AJ, we'll maybe look at that later, when we're done. When we're done here. Maybe, you know, instead of carrying a tractor around with us all day. But yeah, just a little shop with some plushies. Just some little kids' toys, the usual sort of um, stuff really that you'd expect to find in a place like this. AJ's found a pressed penny machine. <laughs> so for an additional charge, you've just booked the tractor ride, is yep, that right? so it's three pounds each. Three pounds each, yeah. Tractor ride. Yep. So, um, because it's half term, currently, kids they, are going mad. the kids are going mad, they have got like a teddy bears picnic activity on all week. Yeah. Um, so there is a craft tent with things that they can do. Yep. You can pay extra to do build a bear. That's £22 a child, so we haven't paid for that today. Mm -hmm. um, but we have booked a teddy bear's picnic. Yes. Um, yeah. And that's for a family of four. We'll, yeah. we'll be eating as well during that, won't we? Yes. Um, it's not just for the kids, So because uh, they asked for how many adults, adults how many kids. Many so we'll presumably, yeah, definitely, yeah. I was just about to say that I had absolutely no idea where the tractor hayride is, but then we just saw this little A-frame sign that says tractor hayride this way. So it does look like it's still a working farm in parts of it, doesn't it, Shelbel? Like, yeah, yeah, it all looks. Yeah, no, it does look. Like yeah. A farm. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been. We have been here before, um, but not for. Tilly, you were three. Oh, when we were last here, and you're now s you're now seven in April, so it it's been nearly four years since we've been here. Right, let's get on this. Find it. Let's find this tractor. Yeah, we maybe should have put your boots on. I think that might have been a bit of a miscalculation. Um, I've just got trainers as well. Shell bell. What have you got? You, yeah, we aren't really equipped for <laughs> a, fa a farm sort of in this uh, misly mucky weather. Oh look, there's, uh, there's the tractor there. There we go. Let's get on board. Here's it. Hi, all right. There it is. Gentleman's taking care of business here, just cleaning out the uh, tractor. Or trailer, rather. Sign states there, tractor hay rides. Please wait here. All right. All right, heading on. Straight to the front, Matilda. Oh, 
So as we head down, you may see some other farm animals. When we make our way back up, we'll play the farm game where you name the animal and make the sound after we found all of our bears. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, so we've been invited to climb down from the trailer because um, they've got some like uh, like duck food here that we're going to give to the kids so the kids can feed the ducks. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Ducks fed. Yeah, that's very fancy. If I was a bug, I'd like to live in there. What about you, Tilly? Okay, good chat. Okay, back on board. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. So that's quite fun, the kids that enjoyed that. Um, yes. 20 minutes, about 20 minutes, wouldn't it? About 11 o'clock is there, 20 yeah. past. Um, just took us down to that little lake, really, and feed the ducks. Feed the ducks and back again, um, but the kids really enjoyed the kids it. Kids enjoyed it, yeah, so. Yeah, what was it, four pounds? Three pounds Three each. pounds each. Yeah, okay. Right, about an hour and a half before our picnic is due. Uh, no, about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Um, we are a, bit, a little bit peckish, actually, so um, we're gonna try and find, there's a donut place here somewhere, isn't it? Yes. Uh, there are a few little food options, so we're gonna find. Let's find yeah, let's find the donut hut. It's very windy. It's a shame the weather is not cooperating. It's uh, actually it's starting to dry up. It's not like we haven't got that like misly rain anymore. Uh, it is now just windy. It's not particularly cold. It's only about 50 degrees, so it's not cold. A um, little bit of a chill in that wind, but nothing ridiculous. But yeah, just just a very miserable day. Um, if you come to Dairyland and um, it is a little bit rainy, just be aware that probably you'd be better off with welly boots, particularly, you know, particularly the, the kids. Right, Shelley and the kids have found the, uh, the donut. Oh, so it says barbecue order here. I think this is the donuts. Oh, there we go. Yummy donuts. Donuts and coffee. Nice. Did you get a tea or a hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I think a hot chocolate is warranted on a day like this. Uh, what have I got? A coffee? Nice, thank you. Right, we've stepped over to this like gazebo thing. You can get some marshmallows from where we bought the donuts. Um, obviously not now because the fire's lit, but this like little area, you can uh, you can cook some marshmallows. That'll be fun. Um, I actually thought, Shell Bell, it was going to be dry in here, but because it's like like sweeping mizzle, it's like coming in off of the side and everywhere is wet. Plus that hole in the roof doesn't help. Right, so you got your bag of donuts. So what was it? A bag of five? five uh, six. Six. Six for five pounds. Six for five pounds. They're a diddle, to be fair. They are a little bit diddle, um, but they are fresh because we had to wait about five minutes, didn't they? Didn't yeah, we? Yeah, made them there, so, so they're nice and warm. Yeah. All right. Look delicious. Smell delicious. It's funny you can't beat a fresh donut um, when they're hot out of the fryer thing. Um, they are um, super delicious, nice and sugary. Goodness, it's getting windy. Hmm. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit colder. It's getting wetter and wetter, more windy. So I think we're going to go into the barn, see the animals, and then um, get our teddy bears picnic and then go into the soft play which is indoors. I don't think we'll be doing much outdoors because, you know, it's uh, pretty darn wet. Definitely boots are required because in the rain, very muddy, I got very squelchy wet feet. If it were dry, what a fun little uh, photo up there. And be in the stocks. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's quite a few little bits and pieces to do here. Um, but a lot of it, like a lot of attractions in Cornwall, they are outdoors and they are very dependent on the weather. Um, so just bear that in mind. 
Right, let's head into the hay barn. And that's poor AJ, he's very miserable because he's wet and cold. <laughs> but at least we're in here now. In the dry. Hello, pony. I don't think I see your name anywhere. There's like no information other than like ponies may bite, please do not feed us. Um, yeah, nothing there stating your name. You are nameless, but very cute. We've got next door, we've got ferrets. Oh, very is it? Hello, Mr. Ferret. You just staring me out. So according to the information here, we have Orion and Dan. And ferrets have been domesticated for thousands of years. Who knew that? A baby ferret is known as a kit. Huh. Who have we got here? Oh this, is, oh, this is Teddy. Here we go. We've got, the, we've got a name here. Dartmoor Hill Pony. So you were born in April 2009. So you're going to be 15. No, 14. You're going to be 14 in April. How about that? Cuteness overload. Let me go around to the other side where the kids are. And of course now I've come over to this side. They've gone over to that side. Isn't that Says typical? More Says more about me. <laughs> anyway. Some little cute little goat things. Little sheep. We've got a couple more ponies here. Can't see any names up there so I don't know what they're called. But uh, a couple of little ponies. They look very sweet. Enjoying their hay. Definitely enjoying being inside. Come on, you lot, it's like a pigsty in there. Get it sorted. And some more cute little ponies. Got a tractor shed here. It does say exit only, but. Well, there's no one here really. Oh, I suppose he's just coming from there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We've, we've broken the rules. So we've got tractors through the decades. Some awesome pictures of some uh, fantastic uh, tractors. I mean, there's something quite cool about a tractor. I don't know. I mean, look at them. They're like. Some could be like epic. There is no standard worldwide tractor design, however, the design has evolved over the decades to suit market conditions. Blah blah blah. I'm not gonna bore you by reading all of that. But suffice to say, it's very cool. Oh here we've got some date stamps up here, so 1900s to 1920s, then the 30s to the 50s, and then 60s to the 80s. They just look pretty much like what we drive now. And then 90s to the present. Yeah, here we go. And over here we've got some on display. This is a, a Hornsby oil engine, 1913. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, I love this. Look at this old retro, like, uh, fuel pump. Steak shell up there. Look at that. Amazing. But that would be in gallons and not litres. Huh. She looks happy in her work there. Just got her basket of bread there by her on her on her tractor. What is this tractor? An Austin tractor, 1919. Wow. So that's super old. That's over a century old, that one. That's amazing. Very cool. And actually, while I'm here, I might as well backtrack to this one. A Ford tractor. 1917. So Henry Ford, obviously the the uh, founder of the car. Ford. There you go. I wonder if that's that says like 1918. I wonder if that's just coincidental, and that's actually just a number. Because AF, I think AF was the old code for Cornwall on our old um, like number plate system, we have, that's yes, obviously it's different now, it's like WK, WL, I think other ones registered to Truro, but it used to be like AF, so AF 1918, interesting. Can't see any info on this tractor, but uh, loving that massive, like, um, bucket thing there, like stretches right over the whole thing, that's cool. Alright. What's this here? They've got like an old 
It's like a shed here. Set up. If closed, ring for service. <laughs> All the old farm tools in there. Someone's got like a little metal camping mug that would have been full of a beverage at some yeah. point. Coffee, probably a cup of tea, oh, I'd have thought. A cup of tea. That's what I reckon that would have been. Right. Okay, Matilda and AJ are having a go at uh, milking a cow. That's fun. <laughs> I like this little display actually. Got some hay up there, like in like a hayloft. States there, Dairyland, obviously where we are. Dairyland Farm World. Say again? It did used to be a slide. It did used to be a slide. I was thinking to myself this used to be a slide. I wonder where... Yeah, I can't, where, where was this? Was it just here somewhere? It must have been here. Yeah, you, you went, yeah that's right, I remember. Yeah. All right, okay, it used to be a slide. Obviously the slide is gone. But uh, anyway, kids are still giving that a go. I'm a farmer. <laughs> Right, there's a craft tent here, open from 11 till 3.30, so we're going to head in here again. I think the sun is trying to break out of those clouds, but uh, to no avail, it's still very mucky weather, so we're going to head inside again. Like I said, I don't think we'll be doing much outside today. We've got the everything we need to make a what? A paper? Uh, a paper a sheet? A bear. Oh, a bear. Um, is it a bear? Okay. <laughs> you've got yours there, Tilly. All right. Cut this bear out for you, Tilly, and I assume you um, stick you stick the bits to it, like your eyes and his fur. I assume that's what you do. You got it. Good boy. Good cutting. Can I help a little bit? <laughs> We've done a super job there, Tilly. I did a baby. Yeah. So that's... Here we go. All right. So that's Matilda's. Little Baby bear. bear and Mama Bear is there helping AJ because you know he's gone a little bit off piste with this project. Wow, look at that one, AJ! Very cool, and he's got like green dungarees, yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, the picnic is right opposite, and it's just about time. We're about 10 minutes early, but uh, I think let's head in because you know I'm hungry and wet and cold. Here we go, Teddy Bear's picnic room. We have pre-booked, and what was this? Thirty pounds for 30 four of us, wasn't it? For four of us, yeah. Okay, so let's head in. First, you can do some drawings there. I love that. And this is your picnic. Look at that! Ooh. Look at our picnic, guys. This so looks what delicious. You decide is what you would like to drink. Oh, what a lovely little spread we've got. Yeah, I was gonna say here we are inside the tent. Uh, the lady's just gone off to get our drinks. Uh, so basically, what we've got is what? we've got egg tuna ham cheese and jam sandwiches yep and then we have got six, seven, nine, uh, pork nine, pie ten, scotch eleven, eggs eleven, carrot eleven, sticks eleven, and hummus eleven, cucumber eleven, crisps eleven. <laughs> yep. fruit jelly um sweet treats yeah, yeah i was gonna say just little sweet treats and they're the same aren't they there's also two bottles of bear on the top of each one yeah for the kids yeah so you get to keep the little plush bear oh and you literally are digging straight into the jelly how are you enjoying your lunch <laughs> You've yeah. just eaten some cucumber, haven't you? Yeah? Mm. You've got the jelly on the go. You still eating the jelly? You've still got that on the go, haven't you? Hello. And AJ? Got a carrot stick. Mm. Got some dip. A carrot stick, lovely. How's your sandwich? Yeah, which, uh, which did you go with? I had an egg to begin with. Yep. And now I've got a tuna. Cool, and I am eating a uh, ham sandwich. Mmm. Right, so they have um, they've brought our drinks, and the lady said the lady said if we need anything, um, she's just in like the cafe over in that direction. So yeah, so a relaxed affair. There's no one else in here. There is another booking later, but we've basically got the run of this tent, and we can. Well, she said just take your time. I mean, sort of up to an hour or whatever you want to do, really. So um, yeah, let's dig in. What have you got there? Oh, it's like jelly inside the no. sponge. Is it like a sponge cake? Yeah. Chocolate. It, oh, it's chocolate spread, is it? Oh, ooh. it's like AJ's drinking cider. You've just had a taste, so it's like real proper mm, apple juice. Apple. Yeah. All right. Do you like a nice pork pie, by the way? I enjoyed that. Uh -huh. I was, thank you. I wasn't sure what to expect when we booked a uh, Mama Bear's picnic. Yeah. Uh, actually, that was lovely. Yeah, Kids that was good. Um, yeah, I think, like, so, I mean, on the face of it, you think 30 quid. Um, but again, you know, that is for four. We've got, yeah, we had no drinks included. 
In fact, we've taken because um, they gave us some they gave us some takeout boxes, so we've we've taken quite a bit of it home. So yeah, and I'm 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 full now. I'm happy. Yeah. Well, as you saw, there was fruit, there was crisps, there was sandwiches, there was cakes, yeah, sweet treats, there yeah. was sweet treats. There was all sorts, like yeah, like sausage rolls. We haven't and left, um, little um, scotch eggs and yeah. things like that. So we haven't we haven't gone hungry. After no, that. no, no. So yeah, that was really good. And to prove it. Flip the camera around. There is the remnant of our picnic. Just got my coffee there to finish. Heading out. <laughs> oh, it's Mowgli from the uh, Jungle Book. How exciting. Right, so we're going to take him down to the bullpen indoor play, which is basically soft play. We had a little scout in there earlier on, didn't we? Um, so I think the kids are going to enjoy that because, you know, like I've said a couple of times in this video, we're not going to be doing anything outside because the weather is the weather has let us down. Yeah, it's not dramatically, isn't it? Not a fault of anyone here at Dairyland. No, nope. it's a very much an outdoor play yeah, area. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have chosen to come in February. Yeah, um. but yeah, the weather has definitely let us down. So heading into the bullpen. Okay, just a standard soft play. Obviously, I'm not going to um, do any filming in here because it's all full of kids. So uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> We're going to leave the video there. I do hope you enjoyed it. The weather did not work out, did it not at all? Well. We completely forgot the outro, um, so we, we I it. feel that there's a child <laughs> stalking us. Dinosaur. She is. Anyway, so Dairyland. It was great. Um, it was cold and wet and miserable, which was not the fault of anyone at Dairyland. They cannot control the weather. Um, definitely should have taken wellies. Mm. Uh, but actually, we made a really good day yeah. out of it, I think. The um, crafting stuff was fun. We made a good baby bear and daddy bear. Um, the we booked the Mama Bear's picnic as part of our uh, yeah that picnic bear. was <laughs> and, uh, yeah the picnic was um, really lovely actually I yeah. was I was um, intrigued to see what we were going to get for mm. the money mm. but actually we came away oh. with two takeaway boxes full of stuff that we couldn't eat yeah because there was just yeah. so much food um, and it was all like bear themed yeah um, and the kids got two tiny bears to keep with it which was cute. Um, so yeah, the Mama Bears picnic was really good. Obviously, the Mama Bears was for a family of uh, four. So yeah. You do a baby bear, which was two people. Mama Bear, which was four, and then a Daddy Bear, which was six. And also, was that a special thing for the half term, or was it? Yeah. Is it there? It's not there all the time, is it? No, but I think in Easter they've got an Easter event on, mm. which they'll do something similar. So they do different events all throughout the year. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, excellent. Um, and oh, and a place for <laughs> and, a, and a place very much for like young kids, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you wouldn't again. You like, wouldn't take teenage kids there, um, which well, you could, but you could, yes, but it probably more you're under it, tens. Yeah, similar to like Lapa Valley, really, isn't yeah. it? I, I think it's that but actually, type of. Actually, our two really enjoyed it. Yeah, they um, did. Yeah. Did you enjoy it, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes. <laughs> anyway, do all the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, and you'll never miss out on any <laughs> video that we put up on YouTube. This is very difficult, isn't it? We are on social media. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok. <coughs> at the bright side. <laughs> so check us out there. <laughs> so from us to you, cheers. cheers. And, and gone. <laughs>